elderly or the very young may not actually generate that, um, uh, that fever. And obviously the child or the, or the non-walking child that has a limp or not using the limb. The reason we're bothered about this whole business is both bacteria um, and the white cells produce proteolytic enzymes that destroy cartilage. So from an orthopaedic perspective, in a very short time scale, if you've got a septic arthritis, you can get profound cartilage damage. And that obviously has very long term sequelae for the patient in terms of degenerative change. So in terms of the physical examination, there's obviously a painful swollen joint, which is warm. It's going to be an effusion. And then the joint tends to be held in the position of maximal uh, comfort, which is often in slight flexion. Um, palpating around the joint is exquisitely painful, and all movement is exquisitely painful. And so, uh, and this is a gross generalisation, but the difference between a, an effusion and a septic joint, if you can move your knee 90 degrees, it's not a septic arthritis. 